You know how when sometimes you just don't agree with your parents? Um, maybe one of them says something and you believe the opposite and you go, what are you thinking, man? Well, I had one of these moments uh, today. Uh, after watching uh, a video by someone close to me about how the market turn that we're seeing is not a crash, which I agree, it's not a crash. Crashes are when markets bottom, and then you go, oh wow, that's a crash. But what I hear, not just this person who's close to me, but others saying, buy on the dip, buy on this, do that. It's gonna last forever. Understand, nothing lasts forever. When you have enormous gains in a position, you take profits. You reduce your overall position. When you have been buying and holding a position since June, and you're up triple digits, get out of your head that this will keep going, because it won't. Like the seasons, we go from spring to summer to fall to winter, back to spring, back to summer, back to fall, back to winter. And if you don't look at the stock market in the same way, or any market in the same way, you're going to get your face ripped off. And right now, we have gone from a momentum environment that started in June and has lasted all the way up until February. And we have seen momentum stocks go higher. And you can name them. You know them. Electric vehicles, um, technology companies, pharma companies. I mean, even zombie companies are killing it. But at some point, you're going to rotate from that environment of momentum positions to low beta positions, from technology back to commodities. And we have been watching this happen over and over again. It's, it's just, it is what it is. My point to this is this. If you've been in the momentum trades and you have made crazy money, take some off the table. If your position has gone from a starting of a 6% stock allocation uh, position to one stock, and it is now double digits or triple digits if you've leveraged up, trim it back. It's done. It's going to pull back to its mean. It's going to pull back to its long-term average at some point. I believe in a lot of these companies and what they're doing, but they're going to rotate in and out of momentum. And right now, what we are seeing is a rotation out of high beta, high momentum companies like the Teslas. Just look at the NASDAQ 100. Look at the high-flying uh, uh, technology uh, ETFs out there. They're littered with these high uh, momentum positions. Well, what's happening? They're retracing. They're re recalibrating. They're coming back to a level that is supportive and that can then move higher. They come up, they come up, and they go down. It's as simple a fact. So buy on the low, sell on the high. When the seasons change, rotate with the change. I mean, if you're not looking at the 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 regrowth phase of this market right now, the regrowth of of the economy. I mean, Texas came out the other day and said we're reopening 100% come next Wednesday. I mean, people are going to go out and spend money in retail. They're going to start traveling again. They're going to start spending money on fuel and energy. And yet those haven't been the places to be for a long time. Now, 
if you've been watching the US dollar and you've been watching the devaluation of the dollar and the commodities market, they're opposite correlated. You've been making money in energy, but you got to be an agile, understand that not everything just keeps going up. I mean, heck, look at the, the bond market. It was only 30 year bull run. 30 years, the bond market, yields went down, bond values went up. What's happening in the bond market? Yields are going up, bond values are going down. If you think you're going to ride another 30 years of lower bond yields, you're out of your mind. You can't, you, you can't manage your portfolios with the idea like in the past, we'll just buy it. It's been going up for 100 years, blah, blah, blah. There's been some dips. No, we live in a high-frequency, high-traded, high, uh, uh, data-available world today. And if you think that you can just buy a company and that it will go up, and you're up triple digits or double digits, and you don't think it will come back down, I'm sorry to say, just go back in history for the last 21 years. Look at what happened. Here's a statistic you need to understand. Short interest, meaning people who are shorting stocks, meaning they think the stock value will go down, is at a low equal to what it was in early 2000. And if any of you remember history, the low of it, the short interest rate equaled a market sell-off at some point. Why is this important? Short interest means that the number of people who are shorting a stock. And if you've been trading the high short interest companies like the GameStops or AMCs of the world, you understand when you have a high short interest ratio and the market goes bullish on the stock, that short interest ratio has to be covered. Those shorts have to be covered because they become negatives to the person who's shorting them. Well, if there's not a lot of people shorting a stock, there's not a lot of support under that stock. And when there's not a lot of support under that stock and people see the rotation from say electric vehicles to energy or to retail or travel, well then those stocks fall drastically. And what you've seen in the last couple weeks is that the, we are seeing a weakening in the high momentum, low short interest positions out there and there's no support. And when there's no support and when the market decides to rotate out, those stocks start to fall. So go look at the NASDAQ, the S&P. Go look at the, comp the indexes are heavy in these momentum positions. Go look at these ETFs. These people have been talked up all over the map because they had triple digit returns last year. They're momentum positions. And what is happening today is a rotation out of momentum and into boring companies that are useful companies that provide a service or a product that when in a normal world we use like gas like energy when i have money i go shopping when i have money in a vacation time i go travel these things haven't worked but now they are and what's hurting and where that money is flowing is out of the high momentum, high, you know, the world's changing. Oh, everything will be, you know, electric in the next 24 hours positions. And they're moving back to your boring, stodgy companies. So that said, the whole point is risk management. When you have hit three home runs in a row in one game. It's time to maybe sit out a little, take some money off the table. When you've had big runs ups in positions you've had, reduce your exposure, cut it down because at some point 
that trade will come back to you, back to where you initially entered, and then you'll have lost it all. Don't be a pig.